So by now we've covered the basics of how the kidney makes urine. You have blood coming in through the renal artery, and it splits up into smaller and smaller blood vessels, eventually making afferent arterioles out here on the outside of the kidney. And each afferent arteriole goes towards a glomerulus, which is basically just a tuft of capillaries. And at the glomerulus, it squeezes out a bunch of fluid into what we call the nephron. So that's the first step here when fluid is getting squeezed out through the holes in the capillaries, and we call that filtration. And then after filtration, the next step is that the kidney wants to reabsorb all the stuff that it wants to keep that it doesn't want to urinate out, like glucose, amino acids, and that is called reabsorption. So that's the second step. And the rest, everything it did not reabsorb, is basically urine and is going to eventually make its way to the bladder and get peed out. Now in this section we're going to focus on this first step filtration and get a better sense for how it works. But first let's answer a question that you may have. That question might be, why? Why is the kidney squeezing so much fluid out of the glomerulus only to reabsorb a whole bunch of it immediately? And the answer is actually kind of neat. The answer is if you have a bunch of blood and you want to purify that blood, it's actually easier to select the stuff that you want to keep and throw away everything else rather than selecting out the stuff that you want to throw away and throwing that out. And the reason why that's easier is because the list of things that you want to keep is actually not that long. We have a bunch of stuff like glucose, amino acids, electrolytes like sodium, potassium, water, and maybe a few other things. But the list of things that you would want to throw away is actually endless. It's basically everything else. Any other poison that you ingest, any other waste. There are billions of toxins out there in the world, and ideally you want your kidney to excrete all of them. So it's a really, 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 really long list. So ultimately, it's actually a better strategy for the kidney to throw everything away and then select back the stuff that it wants to keep rather than attempt to select out the stuff that it wants to throw away.